what do you do when you have this feeling that your world is starting to fall apart? You know, we're all part of this biorhythm in life, and there's just phases of our lives where it seems one thing after the other happens, and it's like, when is it going to stop? I'm witnessing a lot of people around me that's going on like that right now, and with myself, there's all kinds of things going on, crazy things that I never thought could even happen with deaths and everything like that, with death, uh, crazy, crazy things going on right now, and I didn't even think this would be possible. But in the sands of time, uh, what is it going to make a difference in a hundred years hence? So you have to th see things in uh, perspective. What is it going to make a difference in 10 years? And what do the things in life has to tell oneself? What do you have to learn from the things? And Last but not least, we're on chapter number seven right now with the greatest salesman in the world. I will laugh at the world. The great example was with the scrolls right here is with the pyramids. You know, who, who built the pyramids? Where are they? Who were they? Nobody knows. They're just some guys. You don't even know their name. They're buried under the stone and one day the pyramids won't won't be there anymore. So it's really important not to take yourself or things around oneself too seriously. Obviously to mourn and all these other kind of things. Obviously we're all human and so forth with, with feelings, but it's so, so important to realize our time is so short. You know, this huge expansion of life, we're only here like so shortly. We forget about that. That's why it's so important to get on track and to laugh at the world and not take yourself in this world and life too seriously. That's what this is about and we're doing it every day, three times a day, seven days a week for an entire month in order for to get into this sixth goal of ours. It's called the subconscious. The other thing is the, the conscious. So if we're trying to consciously punch things through, it only works for a while. That's called motivation training. Here we go, let's go ahead and get into this. It's repetitive, it's going over and over again, each day, three times a day. I will laugh at the world. No living creature can laugh except man. Trees may bleed when they are wounded, and beasts in the field will cry in pain and hunger. It only I have the gift of laughter, and it is mine to use whenever I choose. Henceforth I will cultivate the habit of laughter. I will smile, my digestion will improve. When I am strangled of poverty, I shall tell myself that this too shall pass. When I'm burdened with wealth, I shall tell myself that this too shall pass. Yes, verily, where is he who built the pyramid? There we are at that point with the pyramid. Is it not buried underneath the stone? And will the pyramid one day not buried under sand? If all things shall pass, why should it be of concern today? This is today as a bridge, the sale, greatest sales, this recitation is abridged because I want to get to that point right there because all these things are going on around me with uh, death and people going and uh, just really bad things happening around me, you know, and it's not nothing to laugh about, nothing whatsoever. A lot of people would be very depressive about it. So important is to realize not just talk about it and say, yeah, 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 of course, that's the way you do it, but to get it in here in your subconscious that time is too short. I will laugh at the world. I will paint this day with laughter. I will frame this night in song. Never will I labor to be happy, rather remain too busy to be sad. I will enjoy today's happiness today. It is not grain to be, to be stored in a box. It is not wine to be saved in a jar. It cannot be saved for tomorrow. It must be sown and reaped on the same day. And this I will do henceforth, no matter what happens. I think sometimes life just tries to test you with stuff like that, uh, with uh, things happening to see if you really mean it, like I with the scrolls. I will laugh at my successes and they will shrink to their true value. I will laugh at evil and it will die and taste it. I will laugh at goodness, it will thrive and bound. Each day will be triumphant only when my smiles bring forth smiles from others. And this I do in selfishness. For those and those are the people who I frown are those who purchase not my goods. I will laugh at the world. Henceforth, I will only shed tears of sweat for those of sadness or remorse or frustration are of no value in the marketplace. But each smile can be exchanged for gold and each kind word spoken from my heart can build 
a castle. Never allow myself to become so important, so wise, so dignified, so powerful that I will forget how to laugh at me and in my world. In this manner, I'll always remain as a child. For as a child, I will be given the ability to look up to others. And so long as I can look up to another, never will I grow too long for my cot. I will laugh at the world. And so long as I can laugh, never will I be poor. So this then is one of nature's greatest gifts. And I will waste it no more. Only with laughter and happiness can I truly become a success. Only with laughter and happiness can I enjoy the fruits of my labor. Were it not so, far better it would be to fail for happiness is the wine that sharpens the taste of the meal. To enjoy success I must have happiness, and laughter will be the maiden who serves me. I will be happy, I will be successful, I will be the greatest salesman the world has ever known. And I'm doing this for us three times a day, for me, for everybody, in order to make this positive seeds of success by not taking oneself too seriously and remembering every day that this too shall pass all the best and peace. As always, why do I say peace every time? Because we only have that. If we don't learn to be peaceful with each other, we won't have each other anymore one day. Isn't that wonderful? It's a great realization. All the best. And as always, I mean it. Peace.